Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of Winter Haven, a town wrapped in the chill of winter and the warmth of its people's anticipation. As the winter festival approaches, the air is thick with excitement and a hint of mystery. The townsfolk are busy, their laughter mingling with the crisp winter air. But beneath the surface, there's a current of unease. What secrets does this town hold? And how will our heroes, Lila and Finn, navigate the challenges ahead? Stick around as we unravel the mysteries of Winterhaven in Chapter 2. As the days dwindled toward the winter festival, Lila, with her wild, curly hair and mismatched mittens, felt the weight of unspoken fears pressing down on her. She and Finn, small and quiet, decided to visit Eleanor, the town's elder. Eleanor's cozy cottage was a haven of warmth, with faded photographs lining the walls and the comforting scent of cinnamon in the air. Lila's heart raced with curiosity as she asked Eleanor about the winter spirit, the one that breathes life into the ice sculpture. Eleanor's eyes sparkled with a knowing glimmer as she explained that the winter spirit embodies the collective regrets of the town, urging them to confront their fears and heal their wounds. Lila leaned forward, captivated by the elders' wisdom, realizing that only by acknowledging their past could they hope to move forward. With renewed determination, Lila and Finn set out to gather stories from the townsfolk. Each tale revealed a fragment of the town's history, weaving a tapestry of shared sorrow and unspoken truths. Mrs. Hargrove spoke of her lost love, while young Tommy shared his fear of the dark. As the festival loomed closer, Mr. Thompson, the town leader, rallied the townsfolk against the sculpture, his stern face a mask of defiance. Lila felt the weight of his resistance, a storm brewing in the heart of Winterhaven. Could she and Finn truly change their community? The question lingered, heavy and unresolved, as they prepared for the festival, their resolve strengthened by the stories they had gathered. In the quiet moments, Finn began to express himself through his art, creating a mural that reflected the emotions stirred by the sculpture. Each stroke of his brush was a release, a way to confront the fears that had long been buried. Lila watched him, admiration swelling in her chest. Together, they were becoming catalysts for change, their voices rising against the tide of silence that had gripped Winterhaven for too long. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the snow-covered landscape, Lila felt a flicker of hope ignite within her. The winter spirit was alive, whispering through the trees, urging them to embrace their fears and forge a new path. With Finn by her side, Lila was ready to face whatever lay ahead, determined to uncover the truth behind the ice sculpture and the legacy of her family.